Welcome. In uh, today's video, we are going to be showing you how to import a Itero scan into ExoCAD or whatever design software that you have using the SCL files or even the um, actual Itero file itself. Um, and the first thing that we need to do is go to uh, MyCadent. Uh, and you just sit there and Google it. Everything will pop up. You're going to have to log in. If you do not have an account, just call up a line text to have an account. Um, they have different tiers. Certain tiers cost more money than others. Um, I'm going to show you how to do it so that you don't have to pay, or if you choose to pay, to be able to edit the margin yourself in the iTero software, or you can do it in ExoCAD. So um, really, it's up to you. Um, first, we're going to do go to orders, orders list, and this is very simple. And go ahead and pick a pick your case, open your file, and the first thing that I like to do is go ahead and open up their um, RX, which is going to be up here in the top left hand corner. This RX button, as soon as it loads, click on that, and. Since I've already done this case, I should do a different one. Go ahead and exit out. We'll open up it. We'll start brand new. We'll start fresh. I've not done this one, so we'll open the file here. And it'll load. Depending on how fast your computer is. And we'll open up the RX. Um, now this is very important. If you do not want Itero to print the model for you, you need to uncheck this and you want to create your own model yourself. Come over here to local export. If you want to mark the margins yourself in ExoCAD, you must choose this option right here, implants and other exports open model. If you want to go ahead and use Itero's margin then you can choose down here, color export, ExoCAD, whatever. Uh, color export, don't waste your time on it. Uh, it doesn't really do that great of a job. Um, the uh, pink tissue gets blended in with the tooth color and it, it doesn't really help very much when you're trying to mark the margin. So just go with the normal one. This is, I always mark the margin myself because I'd rather be responsible for marking the margin than someone else. So let's go ahead and click that. Then you go ahead and print. Print. While that's printing, uh, you can, you know, use your mouse, 3D mouse, whatever. Go ahead and make sure everything looks okay. You can click over here to check the opposing cast, make sure the bite looks good. Looks pretty solid. Um, then after that, it's just a simple go ahead and click the send button and it's click yes. And it's gonna ask you if you wanna open up your folder. I always say yes, and then I'll go ahead and rename it. Um, whatever the patient's name was, this will just be a test here. And then you can close out of there and you can close out of here. Now, in ExoCAD, you can either hit this load button, and if you chose the other options with ExoCAD and have their mark their margins, you want to click on this Itero button. It'll come into your C drive, Itero, export, and test. And you'll double click on this. And this will load in the scans. Uh, next, you just want to make sure that, that you have the proper um, settings here. So Itero doesn't really know what they're doing. And it's always something weird. Uh, we'll click OK. And I'm just going to show you guys how to go ahead and do the model. I'm not going to do the crown here. Uh, we'll save. And then we'll come into Model Creator. And I believe this is going to have the margin marked for them because I used Exo or, uh, Itero's um, file. So let's go ahead and load in the scan information. And that is definitely not the same model. So this is what it looks like when uh, when they mark the margin for you. They kind of they ditch the margin and all that stuff, and uh, you can kind of see 
everything doesn't get blended in very well. Um, but this is how you would go ahead and do this. I always do this as the solid model technique with an extra die on the side, get everything lined up. If you want, uh, you can close this here. Um, go ahead and hit next and ask you to crop, go ahead and repair, and next. And if you, it's, you hit detect, oh, no, oh, it didn't show me. And see, this is also why you choose the STL version because all this stuff is all gone and it's really hard to see the margin. So we're gonna go ahead and back up, clear out of here. We'll start a new one. Test. All right, and we're doing number, I think it was number, number two. Here, here, here. And I'll show you how to import the STL. So instead of going into the load and loading iTero, just come straight over here to Model Creator and then it'll ask you to import the actual files. And it, it'll be back in its uh, normal state. So we're going to go find the data, go into your C drive, Itero, export, close the test, upper jaw right here, we want to load first, and lower jaw, load second. And so now you can see that everything is back the way it's supposed to have been. Uh, extra dies, go ahead and get this sorted here, here we go, and now you're going to mark the margin. Uh, and this is kind of where you can see where it's still kind of lacking in some areas of where the margin is, especially with intraoral scanners. Um, if you've been doing it for a while, you can see where the margins are, it's tough, and you know, you're making an estimated guess here. This one, you can kind of see where I tarot marked the margin right over here. And we're kind of going to follow that guide. Um, this is probably a case that I would send back and have them rescan the margin. It's a little tough to see. You can kind of see little differences here. And so we'll come back over here and we'll try to get everything going and then we'll come back and make any adjustments that we need to. You're holding down the, uh, the control key and it will give you the whole like, automatic margin finding tool. It helps on those parts. Alright, so we'll come in here and fix all this stuff up. And clean it up a little bit. Again, highly recommend the 3D mouse. It speeds things up quite a bit. Um, and once you get the hang of it, you'll wish you had it all along. Okay, so there's the margin. Next thing is going to ask us to. Um, if we want a detachable die or not, click yes, I want an extra, I want a plug die because I'm making a solid model, I want to be able to finish down the margins. Uh, this is uh, the die ditch. Um, now, most of the time, well sorry, the first thing you want to do is uh, define the insertion axis of the actual die. And you kind of want to lean to the side because if it comes straight out over here to the side, it's going to take out all this contact area. So let's lean it, hit set from view. And so now it'll come straight up through the top. Lastly, I always change this to 0.3. We'll click Run. We want to make sure this blue here, which is where the margin is going to be, doesn't come up and wipe out this contact area. And then um, if you want, XCAD has pretty nice um, articulator features that you can add in. Again, this is just a solid model. Uh, with a plug die, um, so I'm not going to add the Itero articulator. You can, I'll show you how to do that real quick. It's in this next step after this loads. Okay. 
here we go. Um, you can add in the patient's name onto the model, come to text, type in the patient's name, hit add, and then click where you want. If it's red like this, it's not adapted well, so just make sure it's blue. And then you would hit next and you would be finished. If you want to add an articulator, click on attachments, select your attachment. I believe this is the Itero one. Yep, and you kind of want to get this lined up properly. Um, and you need to change the, what is it? I forget what it's called, but you need to change it so it's 38 millimeters because this is 38 millimeters apart. Otherwise, it's going to have issues printing down here. You want this to be flat across like this. Uh, and then this is two millimeter difference. So you want 38 millimeters between the, between the two models. Um, if you want to delete it, just hit the delete key on your keyboard. Um, and you are all done. So uh, any other questions, please comment down below. Uh, hit that thumbs up so we can get some uh, more people to check out the videos so uh, we can help more people out. Uh, next upload, I'll probably be doing the, uh, the 3M um, TrueDef scan. Uh, show you how to mark the margins and all that stuff on there. It's different software um, and it doesn't cost anything. So if that's what you want to do, you can. Other than that, uh, you guys have a great weekend. It's uh, my Friday. I'm going to go home and uh, go play with my kids. Have fun. Bye.